can't tell if it's going to rain today or not. I can't get my lights on. Yeah, yeah it's like I don't know. I'll I don't know how warm it is out there. I don't know anything. Alexa, she's not working today. No, she's down. She's down everywhere. It's all across the country at least. Yeah. Download detector. Yeah, I had to stop what I was doing, come sit down and try to sort it out that it wasn't just us. Yeah, I guess the AWS services or something is not working right this morning. It's Sunday morning. It needs a day off every now and then. Um, no. No, and then Don, you know, with his joyful words was telling me that, you know, it's not profitable for Amazon, which has nothing to do with this outage. Yeah, well, we hope. We, well, I'm sure it doesn't. I, I'm, I'm sure there would have been an announcement. I, I, I always think the best of people. He always <laughs> thinks less than half full um that's just but that's why we're together so we bring each other to the middle somewhere i get a dose of reality and he doesn't you know drag the whole world down so that's right. um anyway she's out and we're moaning because you know we started issuing commands the minute we got out of bed and none of them were working it just she lights up on the on the wake word but she doesn't she doesn't answer you pretty much yeah you should uh, go listen to stacy hickenbacken Internet of Things podcast is a podcast within the last two weeks, and she gives you an update on these home as voice assistants at home. Both Google and Amazon are really on the edge of pulling the plug on them. I mean, she had some uh, good, uh, the podcast I listened to yesterday. Uh, she pointed out several things. So if you kind of want to know the a little bit of more of the inside scoop uh, on on that, uh, that's worthwhile podcast. Well, I thought I would never kill my Amazon Prime or stop having my monthly subscribe and save delivery or any of these other things. But you watch how fast I'm back inside Walmart buying stuff if they let me down and pull the plug on my lights and my voice commands. I mean, they, they should start with a subscription and see how much people are willing to pay and keep it afloat. Right, We're I willing would... to pay something to keep it afloat. Right. I, I think that that... Notice Don didn't chime in with the, oh, yes, I'll cancel my Prime stuff. But, I mean, seriously, if Amazon's going to hurt me and pull away something that I use 50 times a day that they start that they hooked me into, then they're going to pay in their wallet because I'm not going to buy as much. I'm not going to say I'm not going to buy any stuff from them, but it could seriously hurt my opinion about having things delivered. Yeah, I, I, I remember back early on... Uh, Twenty-five dollars or something. They, they get free shipping. If you spent on each delivery more than I think it was twenty-five dollars, it, it would free. be it would be delivered for free. And yeah. then they pulled that. You basically had to sign up for Prime, and Prime has gone up. But I don't even want to know what Prime is now. I know it was oh, like yeah, it's, ninety-nine it's, when we started, oh, maybe, up. and it's over a hundred and fifty or yeah, near a hundred and fifty or now. something now. I don't. I mean, I still. Based on the package Don mailed a week or two ago, we know that little people can't mail stuff at the post office for a reasonable fee. So That's right. I, I, I'm sure that we, as many deliveries as we have, are making, would be paying more if the, the post office or UPS was delivering our stuff. But I'm just saying it se that price seems high, but based on the amount of deliveries we have, it's probably not, we're probably making out okay in our case. It's kind of like the EV yearly tax if you drive less than in north carolina if you drive less than fifteen thousand miles yeah, the out. thing you pay at registration times is probably a good deal if you're driving twenty five thousand miles a year you're probably not paying enough to help the roads and or as much as everyone else and if you're only driving five you're, you're getting screwed, screwed. so <laughs> it's sort of the same thing I, I think we're over what we're saving with prime the, the fee versus what we would be paying otherwise but um Anyway, I'm just trying to say I have leverage with Amazon and a yeah. lot of it. And they can not mess with, they should consider not messing with me. I would yeah. rather them say, look, it's not lucrative. It's now a service. We want to charge for it. Sorry, it used to be free. It's not free anymore. Right. Versus get rid of it. That would be very upsetting. And that, you know. Well, I guess the other thing is, you know, uh, again, I don't know, but this whole chat GTP4. I mean, who's going to get to leverage that? And you're going to be able just to use your voice assistant to ask those kinds of, or, or get that quality of answer from, A, I mean, we get some pretty, uh, Alexa does do quite as good a job as, um, G, Google. I mean, sometimes we'll ask A and she'll give us some kind of musical song on iTunes or something. I don't know. 
and then we'll ask the same question to Google and it'll actually give us the answer we're after. But we have asked G sometimes and A knows and it doesn't. It's not as bad as it was well, back 10 years ago. It's literally been like 10 years now, right? Six yeah, years, eight been. years. I don't know. It's been a lot of years. Right after you think you've... Uh, I'm like, was together. I ever in the house and we didn't have... You had some home automation when I moved right, in, whether it was A or G or not. It wasn't maybe on anything I cared about, but you could control the hot water heater. <laughs> Well, I think it came out like that Christmas of 2013. Yeah, I, I don't really remember living in the house over here and not having a devices well, available. Well, I remember when we still have that one in there. It's the one in the bedroom. Yeah, the very original one the is still working. The very original one. And we got, because I guess you and I, were we buy a lot of stuff on Amazon. We You had to be invited to get that first one, and we got invited to get that first one? Probably. I mean, so they do that a lot. That but That's possible. I don't remember the, those details. Well, you're you're do, really at the, the, What they wanted for that sucker was like 160 bucks or something. I mean, that was... Yeah, well, the most... And that was a discount from the $200 they were going to sell sure. it for. Yeah, well, they start... That's typical, their typical mode. And I guess, yeah, so I don't know. Yeah, Don asked me this morning, why don't we use G more? And I said, well, I don't want to say, hey, yeah. in front of it. One word, that's why I don't use voice commands in Ruby until I can say Ruby or some yeah, other I, wake. Until I can just say a wake word, I'm yeah. not likely to start using voice control in my car. That press, I'm sorry, but it's just the honest truth that pressing the button never occurs to me because in my house, I don't have to press a button. Right. If I had to walk over to the wall and hit a switch like the old intercom system or something, to interact with these devices, I pro I probably wouldn't I probably wouldn't do it. And then I said, well, we only have two G devices set up in the house, and so I just used the one I can use literally in every room of the house, including the crawl space in the attic. Right. And I'm not going to switch back and forth. And the only time I use G is if A doesn't work or she. It's kind of like the backup system. By the way, it's not controlling the devices through A this morning either. The ones that A knows about. It, it might be controlling a few devices that it kind of owns. Well, it's but the ones I've got it set up with smart things and a couple of them, but I don't have them set up with the like the Wi-Fi bulbs. Right, or all all A controlled. All of, that's right. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know. A hasn't been working so great for a while now. When I I have long routines and. First off, she stopped controlling the brightness and the color at the same time on my Wi-Fi bulbs. Been a known problem for over a year now. The only way you can fix it is to run two different routines or maybe to split it up inside. If it's a long routine, to split it up. I, I, have, I used to be able to say coffee time and... Um, I don't know what else. I don't remember the other. But coffee time would make every light in this room white and bright. And I could do it for cleaning and setting up the Christmas tree right. and putting away my decorations. And I could see my Legos. I needed to see, be able to see. And now it's, it's, it's literally torture to try to switch the lights to all bright. And then try to switch them back to that nighttime green thing. And they know about it and they don't want to fix it. Right. And so sometimes I have multiple routines now and sometimes I have to issue them um, the routine five or six times. Like last night I came to bed, I ran the good night routine. I had to run it six times before I could get the city lights in the dining room to actually get triggered to go off. Like it's been really slow for a while now. And, and so, you know, like you said, the writing's on the wall. There's these issues going on that many, 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 many hundreds of thousands, millions of I people know, are ha are suffering with and they're not fixing them. So, um, but yeah, we've got so much invested over here and have changed our life to utilize it that it would be, to me, a big deal if it all of a sudden stopped working. It Why? would really be a problem. I couldn't turn it on my cheery good morning lights i couldn't get my cats lit up outside i mean have to actually walk over to the wall switch god forbid yeah <laughs> marty says could you stop making videos and get me fed please hi morris okay i haven't forgot about you guys just a few more minutes better late than never i would never leave them hanging too long Tux has a carpenter bee up above him drilling a hole, and he has sawdust on his back. Poor He's guy. a carpenter cat. Come on, Tux. Let's come up here, buddy. Come on, Tux. Don't be confused. Oh, I'll come get him in a minute. Come here, Marty. Morris. Stripey. Come on, guys. Come on. <laughs> Tux is like, don't leave me out. Well, it's just food, Mom. This is Morris. Hey, buddy. This is 
Marty. I know they're a little hard to tell apart sometimes. Good morning, Morris. Good I don't even try. <laughs> you do pretty good. One's skittish and one's not. Yeah, I can tell by the way the they one behave. The runs from you is always Morris. And there's Stripe. <laughs> oh, he just... Go up your spot. Go. Go up your spot. Come on. Come on. You know how to walk up on your own. Thank you. Come on. Get the sawdust off of you. We'll try to do something about him today. Oh, I can see him in his little hole. He's got to go. He's got to go. Yeah, it's up. He's right there, right above Tux. He was over here. That wasn't so bad, but now he's right above Tux. Anyway, happy Sunday, yep. even if we can't control our devices. And, um, yeah. Yeah, but I'm, I'm going to go old school and go get my newspaper. <sighs> yeah, on a unicycle. That's on really unicycle. old school. That's right. <laughs> Well, it's nice to have the grass cut this morning and not have to feel like I got to get out there and do that today. I mean, there's always more to be done in this big woodsy yard, but I'm liking the little hint of red on that maple down there. It's pretty. It'll be green most of the summer and then go back to red in the fall. And it's all looking good. A little maple down here. Don added some string and some poles so it wouldn't get buffeted by the wind too bad. I guess my plant over here, my uh, wygelia, is not, um, it's just not doing quite as good as I'd like it to. Wasn't a lot of blooms this year. The one by the driveway is starting to bloom out though. I suppose I could cut it back and let it you know regrow for next year it has gotten a little large although there's enough room for that over there but we'll see side yard yeah i like to come out in the morning and just enjoy the view on these days weekend days where it's not dark out <laughs> and i have a minute to enjoy it and the light to enjoy it there you are i can't get your light on this morning I don't know how to turn the light on even without, I don't know. I guess there's the overhead light, but it's not very, um, it's not very bright. Anyway, good morning, sweetheart. Oh my goodness, could you be any cuter? Could you be any cuter? Mom's coming out to plant flowers. Go around with the wheelbarrow and stick impatience, begonias, and coleus into flower beds. Or flower pots, excuse me. You're welcome to keep me company. Or just stay here and continue to be total cuteness. I just wanted to show you where Marty and Stripe were hanging out. Hey, Stripe. Oh, he was on top of over here. There's Marty. Hi, honey. Good boy. First thing I'm going to do is plant the impatience. I've got two pots in mind and a third pot I can start or do. Um, I don't have enough impatience. I had just got these the other day, but I'm going to need at least this much more or twice. I, I'm going to need I a little more. I did put out that pretty summer sunshine flag yesterday, bright and cheery. I was in the mood for cheery. This had impatience in it last year. Of course, you couldn't see the hosta after the impatience got going. And the deer actually didn't come over here and eat it, which I thought was nothing short of a miracle. But So this is the first pot. So six or eight plants in there should do it. One down and probably 20 more to go. <laughs> this Wygelia is fixing to look awesome. There's not a branch on it that doesn't have full blooms ready to open so I'm excited about that the hummingbirds like it if I sit out here in Ruby with the AC on me I had to blow an ant off my arm um I can maybe get some hummer pictures this year number two done um it was always really pretty coming and going up and down the stairs over there which is usually just me but the deer don't um 
you know, attack them this close to the house. I try to plant most of the impatience really close to the house. Last year, and it was a surprise to me, the deer did eventually find the begonias down here and munch on them a bit. But they take off the top and then they'd grow right back up and look pretty again. And then they take off the top and so I don't know. Hopefully they'll look pretty and make it. It's very frustrating to plant the flowers, make the effort, spend the money and then them get eaten. And yes, the bridge is just wide enough to get the wheelbarrow back across. Begonia's on the left. Begonia's on the right. And uh, there's a few begonias here underneath this azalea. I might move that pot a little bit, but you know, the azalea won't be blooming that long. So kind of move some decorative stuff into that pot that was in this pot. I gave up on planting anything in this planter box Don built me. The clematis seems to survive stripe laying on it. I did put a little dirt in on top, but the cats are up in there all the time. So it's just like sort of no point. Begonias did do okay there though. I put a little creeping Jenny in with the dwarf pygmy Japanese maple. And that's all I've got time for before our conference call, our Tesla FSD beta chit chat conference call. I don't call. think I caught Don on video. He's just been walking back and forth between there and over there and in the garage and up the hill and he's been moving wood around and he wanted to build a platform for this to level it a more permanent thing. Um, and I think time is not long enough today and there was like, you know, prep work to do, pick which wood, blah, blah, you know. So this pot I'm leaving alone. This pot I'm leaving alone. Um, this is an herb. Don't ask me which one right now. Let me see. Maybe rosemary. Um, this pot's going to have a plant in it. That pot's going to have something in the front. And then, of course, the two blue ones across the here. I don't know about these yellow guys. They're just kind of there right now. Maybe, maybe not. They came with something in them last year. And then I've got this blue pot here ready to have something put in it. And I'll, I'll go this way. <laughs> hey, Tux. Hey, buddy. Marty. Everybody's here but Morris. Oh, my goodness. You're so cute. You was so good at keeping me company today. Yeah, I hear him. Mr. Don's up the hill. 